If you're financially smart and you know what to do and you understand where you're going, you have a setup on why you're doing things, then it's okay. But if you're just going to lease the car just to look good, man, that's uh, conspicuous consumption. You're just buying things because it gives you a status symbol and make you feel like, oh, I'm the man. No. You could drive a $500 car, you will be the same person you are. What's going on, people? Check it, right? Now, I'm in car process right now. I'm in process of getting a car now, right? Now, let me tell you this now, right? It's all about practicing what you preach. It's all about going by good principles. And the same principles that get you to be a millionaire, that's the same principles that you keep. Now, if you only make $50,000 a year, if you only make $50,000 a year, you shouldn't have more than $25,000 tied up in things with motors. I don't care if it's a lawnmower. I don't care if it's a damn car, boat, motorcycle, ATV. I don't care what it is. If it got a motor in it, it's dropping. It's depreciating. It's killing you. If it's over that $25,000, which is half of 50000 If you make 100000 and you got 50000 Tied up in things with motors, you are financially killing yourself. You're financially killing yourself. Let me tell you right now, I'm getting a car, right? And I'm getting something used. Now, this is how I go. You get a used car. You spend $5,000, right? You spend $5,000. And I make I make a good amount of money. I can get at least two, three, five thousand dollars $5,000 cars. That's $15,000. Let's say if you make $50,000, you can have three, five thousand dollars $5,000 cars. They paid for already. No payments, no payments, but they paid for already. Now, hear me out. $5,000 car, you pay yourself. You pay yourself every month. Instead of paying the bank, because they're forcing you to make these payments. So now you have to be out here doing things and running. I mean, running. Running. For a damn vehicle, for a bike, anything with a motor in it, you better off running for your house because your house appreciates. The car depreciates. So what I do, I'm going to get a five thousand dollar car, right? Now, if I want to move up in ten thousand dollars, get a ten thousand dollar car. I pay myself. I make. I give myself a five hundred dollar payment. Pay yourself five hundred dollars every month. You pay yourself five hundred dollars every month. 10 months, you do the math. You just now about to stick yourself in a 38 month. You might as well do it for 10 months. That's $5,000. Sell your $5,000 car tr or trade it in. Get a little less on the trade in and put that $5,000 with it. And get a $10,000 car. It's that simple. And I can take time with it. I don't have to do it in 10 months. I can do it with time. I don't have to feed people old because the car is more reliable. The car is more reliable. You can find a reliable car. You don't have to get a brand new car until you're able to take the hit. Until you're able to take the hit. It's about being financially stable and understanding what you can do and what you can't do. If you can't write a check out for it, you can't pay for it, it's not for you. It's not yours. That's it. Leasing is renting. Leasing is renting. You're renting the car for how long the term, for how long the lease is. Financing, you're buying, but you're buying as it depreciates. Both ways is sad. Both ways is sad, but if I would have to say, if you financially smart, if you financially smart and you know what to do and you understand where you're going, you have a setup on why you're doing things, then it's okay. But if you're just going to lease the car just to look good, man, that's uh, conspicuous consumption. You're just buying things because it gives you a status symbol and make you feel like, oh, I'm the man. No. You could drive a $500 car, you will be the same person you are. If I go right now and go get a $1,000 car, I'm still bam lit. If I go get a $20,000 car, I'm still bam lit. If I go get a $100,000 car, I'm still bam lit. I'm trying to figure it out. And I know that. I don't need you to verify nothing to me about what and what and what's what. You put five hundred dollars in a in, in a damn uh, 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 in investments. 
and you put that in some good mutual funds, you do that from age uh, of 30 to 70, 25 to 65, and see how much money you're going to have in your account. Go get an annuity calculator and do it yourself. See how much you have. See how much the compound interest of every dollar right now, $21 of your future self. Saved and compound. So when you know that, stop just spending money on dumps. You got to understand what are you doing. Now you're going to go buy a brand new car. I want my old boom. You're about to go get a Honda. You go get a Camry or something. It's way less than your, than your annual income. So your payments and ain't going to really mean nothing. But the average is horrible. The average is horrible. So if the average is horrible, I'm just trying to help the people. It's not about you being financially smart and everybody else is just financially stupid. Because you can see it or everybody be wealthy in this uh, business here called the United States. Why is everybody poor? Because everybody buying things trying to show off. Kitty, there's no status symbol on what car you have. Girls treat cars like purses. You gotta just know that you out here treating a car like a purse when you don't know nothing about the car. All you know is, oh, if anything happened to it, I'm gonna just take it to anybody and get let them fix it, or I'm gonna let my man fix it. He or she with the most knowledge wins any race. If you know knowledge, if you knowledgeable or anything that you're doing. Stop sitting around and just trying to pass the thing on. That's when it looked like a big-ass purse. It just looked like a big Chanel bag. A big Dior bag. With a motor in it. Because sad enough, a lot of y'all be having them bags. And you ain't got no dollars in it. Just a food stamp card. Some of you ain't got no ID. But you got a $2,500 bag. Some of you ain't got no ID, but you got a $2,500 bag. Priorities just shot up. You don't care about your kids. Your kids just bummier than you. You just better than your damn kids, and you got way more than your kids, and you try to beat down on your kids when your kids get older and throw it in your face. Yeah, you were selfish. I had to go learn everything I learned from that person over there and not from you because you was in everybody's face. <laughs> Trying to look good. You sent me to school to go to debt. You sent me, I was in debt just so you could show off for your sister. Oh, my kid went to, my kid went to, uh, 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 Harvey. What the hell? Your kid is deeply in debt. Oh, did you see, did you see, um, Harv? Did you see, um, Matt and them? Oh, they just now got the whole subway. You seen them just open up that subway? Yeah. They just now went and got a loan to do it. They in debt. I ain't saying it's bad. Oh, did you just see that whole laundry mat? They just, he just went in debt. He ain't buy it. Ask the man. Ask him. Ask her. Did you do it? How did you do it? Can I learn something from you? Don't just assume. Don't just assume. Because you putting your kid, because you're not teaching them. Like, if you don't have nothing, what the hell are you going to invest to have anything? You're going to have to get some credit to invest. I'm not saying getting credit to invest is a bad thing because that's leverage. You're using it for the right thing instead of just buying things to look good. You have to learn the business, is what I'm saying. If you just buy it, you're just buying it just to look good. If you, you can go into credit just to look good. Go in debt. Just to look good. No, get knowledge of it. He or she with the most knowledge wins any race, period. So now you know what you're doing. Now you try to pull yourself up out of any situation because you understand it already going into it. You already know it's going to be a situation. You're not just going into it like, oh, I'm going to buy it and I'm just going to make thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. Hell no. Yo, like, comment, and subscribe. Bam, let the ghetto man.